Welcome to day number nine, street photography. I know it's a little bit different. I'm not out there on the field. I didn't get a chance to bring my ID camera and we're gonna go over four pictures. Uh, but first, thanks so much for everybody checking out my street photography in Chicago. I appreciate all your support. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to showing you my this next round. Um, I actually got some really good ones. I didn't go out on the field with my little camera as I usually do. You usually see me walking around and vlogging with it and, as I'm taking my photos. Uh, this time I'm in the studio. And that's all right. We're going to go over four and let's get started. So here is the first one I picked. Uh, this is at the Amtrak Metro Union Station. Uh, as you can see, we have some big pillars here and um, loving the shadow and the leading lines and I saw this person sitting on their luggage which any area that you're traveling and you're going to see you know people using their luggage as a seat but anyway she's wearing a red coat and I love the way the sun is cutting through then so you see the one main pillar on the side is nice in the shadow but then the sun comes out and then it's also creating this line that leads you to these other commuters or travelers coming back here and there's an, a yellow taxi on the side uh, so there's a lot going on i really enjoy this photo the sky is nice and subtle but other than that not too bad let me know if you enjoy this picture uh, it's one of my favorites because you have so many contrasting lines and it could have been black and white but i decided to keep the color because of the red coat that she's wearing all right let's move on down to number three okay so here we are this is uh, another one where it's a perfect combination of the sun cutting through and creating this line of division that's right in the middle so we have this couple and they're walking so what i wanted to do was to get them right in the middle and he's actually wearing all black and she's wearing a white shirt which is perfect for the scene because now we have them walking in the middle and then the, the shadow from the building is cutting right through the center um, so I was lucky to get this shot uh, I really enjoy looking at it uh, this one definitely black and white um, because of the fact that on the left hand side you can't tell with this photo but it was real green and there was a lot of flowers so I think that would have distracted from the main viewpoint of this photo which is the couple walking in the middle and then the shadow between the building and then the sidewalk all right let's go to number two Pick number two is we have the bridge that goes over North Avenue Beach. Now, what caught my attention was this long shadow from the top of the bridge is being reflected down on the ground here. And uh, as you see, this jogger on the left-hand side looks like she'd been running for quite a while. So I really enjoy this uh, shot because of all the shadows and all the symmetry that's happening inside the photo. And it leads you down and there's more uh, bicyclists and there's more joggers off in the distance. So all the shadows, all the symmetry and the long leading line uh, made this for one of my favorite shots for my photo walk for day number nine. All right, guys, before I get to the last photo, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been following me along on Instagram where all the main photos are going to be posted. Uh, thanks for all the support. Let me know what you enjoy about these photos, if you like them or if you uh, don't find them interesting. So far, all the feedback has been very helpful in me creating future videos. Now, I am working on day number 10, so please come back and check that one out. I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, so, guys, thanks again for all the comments, and let's go to picture number one for this photo walk. Okay, so this final photo here, very interesting. So let me explain what's going on here. So I was down at a low angle, and what, what I wanted to do, my initial framing here, I wanted to get these flowers, which are artistic uh, structure flowers. They're not real, of course, and I wanted to get them so that they were taller than the buildings in the background. And this gentleman just kind of walked up. And I don't know if he was walking towards me or he was looking to walk past me, but there he was all of a sudden right before I took the photo. And uh, so here it is. And he walked in and, and actually made for a pretty good photo because of the fact that I got him, I got the flowers, and I got the buildings in the background and also the fountain. Uh, I would have been extra if I, the fountain would have been on. But either way, and I also decided to keep this in black and white. Another striking thing is the fact that I actually got some clouds, which makes for a more dramatic photo. Okay, guys, thanks so much for checking this out. 
I'm glad you guys are liking this little series. Uh, like I said, I got day number 10 coming up. Uh, I really appreciate your support. Let me know in the comments out of these four photos which one is your favorite. Thanks again, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.